Hello and welcome to another JMP video, I am your host Jornario and today it is another how to complete this event. This time it is the splendid summer event which will be available from June 11th all the way to June the 24th, or 2 weeks for short. This is a short event that can be quite tedious for some players since it wants you to complete steps from all over the game. Anyways, the minimum requirement to complete this event is be able to enter Geo Topside, which is 5000 power rank or above. If you are 5000 power rank or below, make sure to check my PR progression guide to start increasing your power rank to 5000 power rank. And even though I haven't posted part 3 as of the time I'm making this, part 2 should be a great start to increase to 5000 power rank. Anyways, moving on. In this event, there will be a mount exclusive to this event, so if you're a mastery farmer, do this event. Also, there's a daily adventure quest that will appear once every 24 hours during this event. The daily adventure quests are extremely easy to do, so make sure to enter and do them. So, these quests are as follows. Mondays, it wants you to gather 50 key fragments. It can be any key fragments, and doing so, you will get a lunar soul. Tuesday is gather one ore. It can be any ore, so chapestone, whatever ore you are grinding. Just one of them will complete this step, and you will get 10 chaos chests. Wednesday wants you to upgrade a gem, so any gem will do, empower lesser, so just press the level up button, I believe it's once, and you will get 3 luster gem boxes. Thursday wants you to complete an adventure quest, so any of the Geo Topside Outposts, Luminopolis Outposts, Geo K4 Club adventure quest, it will count as doing a adventure quest, so make sure to do one and you will get 3 empowered gem boxes. Friday is it wants you to complete a challenge, so it's only one step of the challenge, it's not like completing uh, the 6 Rampage bosses, the 99 from the dungeon completion or get to level 4 from Racing Air Collection, you just have to complete one step. So kill one Rampage boss, get 5 points from the dungeon completion or get level 1 on the Racing Air Collection challenges. Doing this you will get 15 Dragon Coins. Saturday it wants you to complete a dungeon and doing so you will get a double experience potion. And lastly on Sunday wants you to get one Magifine trigger so you will get a Lucky Clover which is a Magifine buff that will grant you 50 Magifine or 100 if you are a patron player for one hour. And those are the daily adventures that will appear every day for the next two weeks. So make sure to look forward to them. Anyways moving on to this event. There are six steps to this event so it's pretty short starting with step one. Change your outfit. Are you serious? Yeah, even though the, it is a weird description to this part, all you need to do is change your costume. It can be any costume, you can change it back to the old one and yeah, that's it. Changing this costume will get you 10 chaos chests, which is ridiculous considering that it only takes like 2 seconds. Step 2, defeat 2 players or win a bomber royale match. So personally, I do not like bomber royale a whole bunch, so you can imagine the struggle I was. No volumes, delay control are due to the extra sad. Super sample at 50% so I could not see anything past like 2 blocks in front of me. Also I did that so I don't get a lot of frame lag even though I kinda did. And I was using the, also the knight, which the knight has a terrible dodge animation so I wasn't able to evade a lot of damage. So the first game didn't go so well since I was lagging like all hell so I ended up in 7th place with no kills. Luckily the second game I got the 2 kills then jump out the match and still managed to get 3rd in that match which is kinda weird. Doing this step will grant you 34 fragments, which in my opinion is a pretty meh reward. Step 3. Complete 3 club adventure quests. So if you don't have the A club that is a high level club, make sure to ask in the global chat first uh, or second go into the club tower in the hub and go to the second floor or higher and you will find the popular clubs which are symbolized as a heart shaped portal. Since I was on Xbox I went to the Guardians of the Realm club and since it has the water gem box quest which it wants to gather 5 water gem boxes. I did that three times to complete this step, so I know it can be kind of confusing to do this, but trust me, the hardest part is just finding the club. Once you find the club, everything else is pretty easy, you just have to do a quest three times. Anyways, doing this step will grant you six empowered gem boxes, which is a pretty good reward in my opinion. Step four, complete three outpost quests. It's so the same as the last step, but this time it's the outpost quest line, which is Geo Topside or Luminopolis. So stuff like kill 10 enemy farms, Plasmium outpost, fishing outpost, kill dungeon bosses in Geo Topside, or complete 5 star dungeons, those will count. So what I did is I got both kill dungeon bosses in Topside and 5 star dungeons at the same time, just because I was doing the event and also I was doing the daily 5 star dungeon rewards, so I did 3 of those questlines to get this reward. And the reward is 
25 drawing coins, which is alright. Step 5. Upgrade your gems 15 times. So easy step, get any gem, like any level up gem, and press the level up button 15 times. So it doesn't matter if you level up a gem or if you fail, you just have to press the upgrade button 15 times. Doing so, you will get them out. Rainbow Squirrel Bird, or whatever it's called. It's hard to say, so yeah. <laughs> This mount will grant you 50 mastery points, so it's a normal mount, so it doesn't glide or do nothing, it's just a normal mount. And the last step, step 6, complete 10 5 star dungeons. So this can take you a while since you have to complete all objectives inside a 5 star dungeon to count as one. So what I did is I focused on 5 star dungeon only and ignored all other dungeons, 3 star and 1 star alike. In doing so I completed the 10 5 star dungeons and finished this event and you will get 6 luster gem box which is always good to get. And that's the event. And this event took me roughly 1 hour to complete and I was using my maxed out knight on this event. So no neon ninja which is weird for me since I always use the neon ninja for events. Anyways, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around as always. Remember that there's a daily adventure every reset for the next two weeks. So make sure to do them since you will get insane reward and that will help you a lot in progressing into this game. Leave the like if you want to help the channel grow. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And that is all for today. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and keep on hunting. See ya.